There it was, the gold medal moment, the moment athletes dream about, train for, and Rafael Gagné has now lived that moment, taking gold in the men's mountain biking, and with me this morning to show off that spectacular medal. I gotta shake yes. your hand. Yeah. Good, morning. Good morning. And there it is. Look at right down that camera. Show it off to Canadians because it's the first one we've seen live on this program. That looks pretty. Sweet, how does it feel there, Raphael? It feels awesome. It's heavy. Uh huh. I worked hard for it, and uh, I'm proud of it. I'm I'm stoked to to win home soil. That's that's something. That's pretty special, huh? Yeah. Gagné in French. Gagné to win. Raphael Gagné. I bet they've been making a big deal of that at home in Quebec, haven't they? Absolutely. Raphael a Gagné, effectivement. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and deservedly so. Okay, you're going to watch with me. We're going to put it up in the big monitor. Good. Your race because you haven't seen it, have you? Didn't. So this is obviously you're not you haven't uh, obviously not in the moment. But okay, oh we don't have it right in the moment. We're gonna t it's gonna come up in just a second and we'll take okay. a look at it together. But let's set this up. Here you are four hours before you go to your race. Yep. Your teammates Emily and Catherine win gold to silver. How much of a boost and a motivation does that give you? Oh, it's a big boost. Um, I had goosebumps. Uh, I was uh, watching the live feeds from like Twitters and Facebooks, and uh, I was like, "It's our turn now." Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's like my hats off to those girls. They did the one-two, all, awesome one-two, and uh, they they really set the bar pretty high for us. And, okay. Uh, so awesome. there they are. All right, that's their race, and as you said, they were one-two throughout an envelope with Emily winning gold on the day. Four hours later, you set off. Your race was kind of similar in that you were very, very back and forth with the Argentinian co uh, competitor, Catriel Soto. Is that how I pronounce exactly, his name? You, yep. you know his name better than I. I. Tell me about your race. So um, first half of the race, it's a six lap race, one hour 30 race, uh, warm and sunny yesterday. Yeah, very um, warm and yeah, very so sunny. So first half of the, the race, uh, it was the three of us with an American, uh, the Argentinian and me. And uh, halfway through, we did uh, drop the American. So okay. it, was, it, it was the battle between uh, me and Soto. Okay. And uh, he, was, he was attacking pretty often, but I was, I'm going to save something for the end. I was pretty confident in myself. and uh, Even though, just with a quarter lap to go, you got bumped almost off your bike. You hit a tree, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I did. That happens. Really? Uh, just get yourself together and uh, and get back at it pretty quick. So I didn't lose too much time. Well, thank goodness. Well, obviously you didn't because here we see you crossing. Okay, we're not seeing the race, but here's the here's the end of when you just won. Take. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we're not really having very good coordination with our pictures, are we? Yeah. What was it? Okay, you finally won that. What was it like for you, Rafael? Oh, it was... Uh, uh, it's hard to describe. I mean, uh, it's like a dream. Uh, you're you're uh, really pushing the whole race, and then with one minute to go, you realize it's in the bag. You've done it um, because with five minutes to go, I, I was still with the guy from Argentina. But uh, once I, I went, when I did attack, uh, it was it was uh, all done pretty quick. So I did open a gap of 15 seconds in like a one minute climb, and that was it. And then it's uh, bring it home, no crash, be be careful. Exactly, even though there's a tree. But anyway, you, you <laughs> dealt with that. So you're there. I mean, we were looking in those images. There was a huge crowd there. They were up at this beautiful course. I mean, it's a pretty tough course. I was up there. There's the grunt, the climb, and there's the bone shaker coming down. I mean, yes. they were there all along to cheer you on. You're from Quebec. I don't know if you were expecting that kind of a turnout, but what was the crowd situation like for you? Oh, that kind of course, I know it uh, from like 10, 10 years experience because okay. I've been racing Canada Cups there. But with that many fans and own crowd fans, that's awesome. That's something I've never lived. Uh, I have a own, own uh, World Cup in Mont saint anne Quebec. Right. But uh, I've never been, you know, fighting for the top three spots. But here, uh, every t I felt like everybody was was behind me, and uh, oh, yeah. 6,000 people were there. That's that's, that's good incredible. for the sport. It's incredible. And we have visit the medal ceremony. This is. You were talking about it after the race. This is the most important goal of your career thus far, isn't it? Yes, that's my biggest win, and uh, I'm off from uh, wins on the U.S. Cup circuit, but now it's Pan American, though, so that's that's a big step. And yeah, look at that. How does that look? Yeah, that's that's pretty awesome. That's good memories, and uh, that will stay stay forever. And uh, I think that's that's a good uh, step stone for what's coming up for me, World Cups this year and uh, Olympic selections. Yeah. Obviously, Rio is in my mind. I would bet it is. Listen, not only that, but the Rio chef de mission, Jean-Luc Brassard, was tweeting a little message of congratulations. We have that for you there. You probably saw that. Félicitations, Raphael. Champion Pan Am. I mean, yes. congratulations, Pan Am champ. 
you were tweeting back saying he's a childhood idol of yours. Yes, yes. Yeah. So I've, I've been doing uh, his sport when I was a child, just a little bit, and uh, yeah, it was freestyle I, skiing. Yes, yes, and I well, saw his uh, I saw his uh, medal run. Uh, back wow. in 94, I think it was. Well, how about that? If he would be your chef de mission in Rio, how does that sound? That'd be great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, you're one step closer to that. I know the selection's to come, as you say, but what a tremendous yeah. step on the road to Rio for you. I'm just loving that look around your, your neck. One of 24 medals for Canada and six golds yesterday. What an incredible day. Thank you very much. Congratulations, Rafael. What Thank a real pleasure to meet you. Thank you very much. Good momentum for Canada. And Absolutely. all the best to all the other athletes coming up. I love that smile. Thank you, Thank very, you much. very much. Rafael Gagné, and he wasn't the only Canadian to Gagné in mountain bike. Let's show you some of the other scenes from earlier on in the day. Emily Batty as she crossed the finish line first and those 6,000 fans as uh, Rafael was telling us they were cheering her on. Catherine Pendrell as well, not too far behind. World champ, she won gold in this in 2007. She was in second place to take the silver, the bronze to the American and there once more, Rafael Gagné. Gold medalist in mountain biking and hanging out with me in the studio. I'll give you a hand, another shake again, thanks.